What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George and for those of you that are new to the channel, I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands called Brand Paneer, and I am also the host of Lifestyle Design Mastery which is basically this online ecosystem where I show you how you can start your own social media marketing agency, scale it, automate it and then live life on your own terms. And I got this question from um, Elias or Elias, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it was basically about the sales call and how we can structure it or if there's anything that I think is essential for the sales call to make sure that um, you know it's a success and that you actually get the client and um, you know both agree to work together. Now before I actually get into those three characteristics or like the anatomy of the sales call if you will, um, just want to give a quick plug for my uh, lifestyle design community which is a free Facebook community uh, where I basically also hand out a free social media marketing mini course to everyone who you know basically um, requests access to the community so not only will you be um, in a community with like-minded people people that are all starting out with social media marketing but you also also get um, like the entire Upwork funnel so how we can actually get clients through freelancer websites like Upwork for absolutely free so you know as soon as you request access to the community you get that course as well okay with that said back to this video like i said the three characteristics that you need during the sales call to actually make the sales call a success and um basically the first thing you need um you know to, for the, the basically the call to be successful because uh, basically a lot of people they will get a script or you know you'll find a script on the internet and then they'll just start reading off the script like that. And you know, it, that's it. They, they think that the words themselves are gonna be enough to get this client to agree to work together with them. And as soon as I see people do this, there's one main thing that they lack, and that is empathy, okay? You need to actually be empathize with the clients. And this is something that um, Quentin Chad, um, which is uh, a friend of mine, uh, also has his own social media agency also has an online course and I was over in uh, Toronto in Canada last year and this is something that we spoke about and he also mentions it uh, on my course as well in the bonus modules he does a few um, lessons as well and he also mentions empathy and basically what you need to realize is that the client wants something okay there's a problem that the client has that needs solving and you need to find out what it is before you can actually start pitching your service so a lot of people they assume that because the client doesn't have facebook ads that the client needs facebook ads to scale the business to do this to do that to earn more money to be able to live life on their own terms without actually asking what the client wants and needs okay so you need to start uh, asking questions you know to the client to find out what is it actually that this client wants so without actually jumping to the conclusion right away that this client needs Facebook ads find out what it is that they want and need and you know what their goals are with the business and then you know you can start pitching Facebook ads and show them that the Facebook ads will assist with reaching those goals so for example if a client wants um, to go from 5k to 10k a month um, you know with his business in profit then you know you can start asking questions okay how do you suggest um, you are going to get there or how do you think you're going to get there or um, you know how many leads are you getting now how many leads do you need to get to actually hit that goal and then as soon as they start um, answering you can start using the answers that he has given as fuel to promote the social media marketing agency model the facebook ads etc okay so empathy first make sure that you ask questions you understand what the problems are of the business where the client is coming from because you can then use that to pitch your services later on okay second problem i see a lot of uh, people have when they're just starting out and they're using scripts etc is that their passion or excitement isn't on the same level as the person they are talking to so they're on the call and let's say they are reading from a script, you know, they're basically like this, you know, okay, so um, what do you, what does your business need in the next month? You know, it's like, it's really monotone and it's like, you know, it's it's not 
um, it's not exciting and if you have a very extroverted person on the other end who is like you know yes I want to scale this business you know um, we've gotten so many clients this month but I want to go even further I've got a great business model I've got a great product and I want to sell it and you're really monotone like that you know basically there's a mismatch in passion and excitement and it's really hard to build a rapport if you are like that and this is from a book called The Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort and he also uses this on his own kids so if Let's say his kid comes in and um, basically they've broken a toy or anything like that and they come in and they're really angry and they're fuming and they're like, Dad, you know, I've lost this toy or I broke this toy. What he then does to his own you know, kid is he acts mad as well. He goes, oh, really? Have you really lost that toy? How can you break, you know, how can you break that toy? And then basically you're on the same level, you know, in terms of passion and emotion as the child and then basically you know that that does does that point of rapport building and uh, you know relatability um they feel, they feel like they're on the same wavelength and then once you have that then you can start bringing it to the level that you want to so if you have a very passionate client or a very excited extroverted client then try and mirror that while you're talking to them okay so like i said if this client is really passionate and he's extroverted then be hyped up as well. Go, oh my God, you know, if you've got this product, just imagine what the possibilities are going to be if we're going to use Facebook ads and scale this, you know, match their excitement and then bring them up or down, whether, you know, to what type of personality you are. Say, okay, well, if we are going to do this, then let's do it, you know, in such a way. Let's set up the Facebook ads, etc. Because you've already matched their excitement, so they're with you there. And then you know you bring them to where you where you want them to go. Okay, so like I said, the first one is empathy. The second one is passion or you know excitement. And then the third one is relatability. Okay, I've already mentioned this in a previous video, but you need to basically speak their language, talk to them in a way that they understand. Okay, so if this is a person who has never heard of Facebook ads before, he runs a brick and mortar business. Then if you start firing questions at him like. Um, how much pixel data have you generated in the last month or what custom events have you set up for um, the landing page to be optimized for a certain conversion you know you're going to lose that person right away okay so if this is a brick and mortar business then speak in a way that he understands what is going on okay so instead of saying okay what does your landing page look like or what you want on the landing page if it's a brick and mortar business then maybe mention okay how many people have you gotten into your store um, you know online with a certain advertisement okay make sure that they know what you're talking about and speak their language I said in a previous video as well you know if you're talking to a fitness client or a gym or a personal trainer then you know use terms that that person understands or that he uses in his industry so he knows that you've either done your homework or you're just very familiar with the industry so in terms of fitness you know use terms like macronutrients um, you know carb loading uh, upper lower uh, you know, lap pull down. Just use their terms so they understand that you know, you know what you're talking about, and that is how you basically build up rapport with that person. Okay, so like I said, guys, empathy, um, passion or excitement, and then fairly relatability. If you apply those three aspects into your sales call, you'll notice that it's much much easier to actually close the client, and you'll notice that because the client is on your level or you're on their level, that it's much easier to communicate with the client once you've actually closed them as well because uh, basically you're on the same playing field and it's basically a business owner talking to another business owner. Okay, like this video if you got something out of it. If you want to know more about social media marketing and you're serious about it, you want to take action, you want to start and scale your own social media marketing agency, I also have a free training, which is basically like a webinar training where I show you exactly how to start automate and scale the business it's about 90 minutes long if you want to attend that uh, it's linked in the description box down below subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next one